let's talk a little bit about your second variation that we're going to dig into. So give us a little overview on that, and then we'll roll the video for that one. The overview for this is, is two, two things I want to bring out with this, with this one. Chromatics. I'm a big believer that there's one scale, the chromatic scale, and everything else derives from that chromatic scale, the 12 notes that make up all of music, which is fascinating in itself. Um, the other is neighboring tones, neighbors that lead into the next chord. For instance, if you're leading into a C chord, the B note is a perfect neighbor. Upper neighbor, right? So this is a combination of using chromatics, the notes between the one and the three all work. also go down and go up. That's classic jazz walking minor bass. Either way, this way, then. Okay, so that's kind of classic Paul Chambers style bass, walking bass there. Now, if we're going to the C minor, it's a natural walk-up, neighbor tone, now we're in C, right? So that's the concept behind the second uh, uh, walking bass video, which we'll now uh, watch. <laughs> 